Creating and publishing KDP search books can be very challenging. You'll have to find the word lists creating a good looking interior of the book, a cover, and you have to bind everything together. After you figure that out, you'll have to upload your search book onto Amazon. Thankfully, there's this amazing tool called BookBolt that will help you create and publish your book through Amazon KDP. If you have never used BookBolt before, don't worry, I will show you on how you can start creating word search books fast in this video i will show you the following how to find a niche for your word search book how to sign up to book bolt then i'll show you how to find word lists for your word search books and then in the end i'll demonstrate on how you create the interior and cover for your book make sure to like and subscribe and let's get started so i'm going to be showing you how to create a word search book i like word search books because one as you can see here from the best sellers ranks they sell extremely well but there are also lots of different themes and sub niches within the overall word search niche that you can create these books in. And like, even if you were to, you know, pause the video and actually check these things, like they go off for a good price with some amazing, you know, ratings and ranks. And look at that 683 ratings. How cool is that? So let's talk about how you can find a niche for these search books. You want to find a niche that is, you know, trending. A good way to do that is to take advantages of seasonal trends and, in, and interests that can significantly enhance the success of your book project. By identifying and catering to popular themes during relevant periods, you increase the likelihood of attracting a larger audience and achieving higher sales volume. For example, Christmas, Halloween, Summer Break, etc. My favorite theme uh it's christmas so today we will focus on creating books themed around christmas during those holiday times you know it tends to create higher sales and it is pretty easier to do marketing for them that's why you'll see a peak in sales volume during the holiday season so now that we have decided our theme let me introduce you to one of the best platforms to create your word search books we'll use a program called book bolt they made it even better by adding their very own BookBolt Studio, which is pretty amazing. This makes it super easy and quick to make a cover and the inside of a book. I'll share some tips on finding word lists, so let's get started. The first step is to go to explainthesocials.com slash BookBolt. So if I were to show you, so up here, as you can see, I'm going to write explainthesocials.com slash BookBolt. So if I were to click on it, you're going to see that it's going to redirect me to this page, okay? So you can either write and explain the socials.com slash book bolt or click on the link in the description down below. This will take you to my personal sign up page, which allows you to sign up for a three day free trial, as you can see, and use the discount code creator 20 for 20% off. So to sign up, click on the login button in the top right corner over here, then click on the sign up button once again in the top right corner over here then what you're going to do is you're going to choose your plan okay book bolt has two different plans available the newbie and the pro plan so here's the newbie here's the pro i'll let you decide which one's best for you okay the newbie plan includes three-day free trial access to full 130 plus interior template libraries amazon search volume kdp spy 24 7 customer support and a whole lot more the pro plan includes all of that plus 15 plus different puzzle creation softwares I myself have the pro plan, however, if you're new to low content book publishing or want to try out book bolt, the newbie plan may be a good starting point for you. It provides access to essential features at an affordable price. On the other hand, if you're serious about low content books publishing and want access to, you know, proper advanced features and analytics and the puzzle creation software, the pro plan might be for you. Once you've picked your plan, we can start assembling the words list. So obviously what you're going to do now is you're going to go ahead and you're going to log in with your account. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, once you've logged in, let's go ahead and talk about how you're going to create a word list. When it comes to creating books filled with word searches, one of the biggest challenges is finding a good list of words to use. But don't worry, I've discovered a couple of great resources that can help us out. The first one is a website called dictionary.com. Okay, so let's go over to dictionary.com. You're going to go ahead and write dictionary.com in your URL tab as so. Now, once you write this over here, what's going to happen is you're going to find out that it's really handy because they offer word lists and flashcards. And on the left side hand on the website, you can see all these different fun types of, uh, you know, features and games and all that. 
when you click on these categories, it opens up a long list of, you know, different uh, word lists and all. And if you click on, you know, all these words, it's super helpful, not only for creating, you know, word search books, but also for getting great ideas for special word lists based on different themes. So you can, you know, go ahead with daily crossword. You can go with, uh, you know, daily words, uh, go with, you know, featured. There's games where you can get daily crossword, word puzzle, word finder, and a whole lot more. Okay, so that's the first tool. Then another tool is another website. Okay, it's called enchantedlearning.com. Okay, this is what it's called enchantedlearning.com. Now, it's pretty useful. They have loads and loads of vocabulary word lists organized by theme. So for example, they have lists for Christmas with about 200 words. So if I were to come over here and uh, go ahead and just, you know, write Christmas, for example, uh, we're going to get, you know, Look at that Christmas craft for kids, Christmas beginning reader books, and they have all these different types of word lists in the bottom right. Pretty great stuff. Okay. Now this can be a great starting point to create fun word search books for different occasions and subjects. Now the last tool that you can use is going to be chat GPT. This one I'm pretty sure you all are pretty fond with within chat GPT. You can ask it to generate words that have something to do with your niche. So for example, you can ask, give me, 20 words that are related to Chris mess. Okay. And you're just going to enter it. And as you can see, chat GPT generates those words for me. So, you know, snow, reindeer, Santa, gingerbread, ornaments, sleigh, you get the whole point. Now let's go ahead and actually dive into the book bolt secret weapon okay it's our secret weapon for creating awesome books and book bolt is not just for word searches you know it's an actually pretty powerful tool okay it goes beyond book creation which is amazing it offers various useful tools for niche research like the cloud function over here so if i were to you know open up the cloud function you can find you know the bestseller ranges with the top 100, top 200, 300, 400 with different categories like notebooks and you can add in keywords, which is pretty amazing. Then you also have the different uh, KDP categories. This is your category search. Again, pretty amazing. Then moving on, you have the keyword research, which is also pretty amazing. This makes it more than just a book making software. OK, so obviously here's your KDP categories, which is an add on that you can just search over here. And here's your keywords. Again, you can search for Christmas keywords and all that, and you're going to find the best thing for yourself. So this makes it again, an amazing bookmaking software and much more than that. So when we want to actually start creating our book using Bookbolt, we need to click on the create button over here. So if you click on research, go on create, you're going to have this. Now this gives us an option and we're going to click on the Bookbolt studio option. This takes us to the studio platform. Now what you're going to do is you're going to click on project and you're going to click on new project and fill in a bit details. Let's name our project Xmas word search. So Xmas word search as so. Now for the sides, we'll choose 8.5 by 11 inches. Okay, here's your trim size. So I'm going to go with 8.5 by 11 inches. The inside will be black and white with white paper, as you can see over here. And we won't have any bleed for ourselves. We'll make this project 90 pages long. Okay. And finally, we'll click on create project. Now we can see that our cover template is ready for us to work on. So let me just wait for it to load. And there you go. Our cover template is absolutely ready. Before anything else, we'll work on creating the interior of our book. So to do this, we'll click on the little maze icon on the vertical menu over here. Once we click on it, we'll find lots of options for different types of interiors that we can make. What's great about BookBolt Studio is that it offers many templates for various kinds of puzzles. Okay, so today we're making on making a word search book. But if you ever want to try something different, you could also create a Sudoku book, a maze book a crossword book or a word scramble. You, you can even combine these different puzzles to create an exciting activity book for kids or adults. Besides that, there are other options too. You can make different types of low content books like, you know, log books, planners and all that. You can find them all over here in the templates library. Pretty amazing stuff. So with the BookBowl Studio, the possibilities are endless. So let's get creative and start working on our word search book. So let's create the word search pages. First of all, we're going to go ahead and click on word search. OK, so here's word search over here. OK, and once you click on it, it's going to show us the number of pages. So 
we have two options, making one page at a time or all 90 all pages all together. So to do all 90 pages, we select all of them except the cover. That way we can make them all at once. So today I'll show you an example by making just five pages. So let's go ahead and click on the first five pages over here. There we go. Now what you're going to do is you're going to click on next. Now we have the details for our pages. The margins are already set, so the puzzles will fit nicely. Okay, I prefer one by one inch, which is better. But I like to adjust it slightly, obviously. So uh, obviously this is going to be uh, zero. I've set it to one on default, but you can obviously set it to 0 0.125 as well. So for this example, let's go ahead and set it all on 0 0.125. So, you know, we get a bit of a width between the margins. So obviously, once you've set the width and everything, what's going to happen from there is we can pick a font from the different choices available. I'll keep it as open sounds. OK, the font size stays the same as well. And I want the color to be black. OK, so here's the color. Let's make it totally dark. There's the word font as well. Let's make it totally dark. There we go. Now, the stroke width will be two. OK. So your stroke width is right here. You're going to make it two, and the stroke color is going to be black too. So obviously the stroke color is going to be right in front of this. Once you chose the stroke, make it black. I'll set a maximum of 10 words per page. So for clue type columns and cell color, we'll keep them as they are. So max word per page 10. And yeah, we're pretty much good to go. Now we're ready to create our word search pages with these settings. Now let's decide if we want diagonal words and reverse words in our word search book. It depends on who we want to enjoy the book. Little kids of different ages, I'll choose yes for both diagonal and reverse. Okay. And the fun thing about diagonal and reverse is that even adults, including, you know, young children can mess around with that, which is pretty amazing in my opinion. So obviously go ahead and choose that. You can choose clue words by sorting them to, you know, short to long, long to short. That obviously depends on you. Uh, there's clue types, which could be columns, linear. So go ahead and choose those. You can choose them as capital words. So pretty great stuff. Now, once you do that, you're all, you can also, you know, use the solution highlighter, which will show the answers to the puzzles. It's pretty cool. And I'll show you how it works soon. Next, we'll keep the solution highlighter as an ellipse. Okay. So your solution highlighter is going to be here again. I'll keep it as an ellipse, as I stated, and click on a button that says add solutions after the puzzle pages. So after all puzzle pages, perfect. Now, once you do that, you're going to click on next. And now it's going to ask you for the solution pages. So you're going to choose the solution pages. And once you do that, you're going to click on submit. OK, so first I got a message saying my CSV file does not have enough words because I forgot to upload a file. So let's start by creating our CSV file now. OK, you can do this using Google Sheets or Microsoft Excel. I use Microsoft Excel and made a list of Christmas word searches. I grouped 10 words together and left some space between each group. So let me show you. OK, now we're going to go ahead and open up Microsoft Excel so I can give you an actual example of how things are going to work. So this is something that I made a long time ago. This is a word search that I made for cats, but obviously we're going to make a word search for Christmas things. So we're going to choose off the stuff that we got off from ChatGPT. You know, you have snow, reindeer, Santa stockings. So you're going to one by one go ahead and copy this in this format. I'm going to go ahead and copy. Now you're going to switch back to Excel. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, you know, backspace all of this because we don't really need this, do we? Or you can obviously always go ahead and make a new Excel blank workbook for yourself. And then over here, you're just going to go ahead and, you know, the words you chose, just go ahead and copy paste. And look at that. It's going to paste all those words. There we go. Pretty amazing stuff, isn't it? So you're going to have to format them like this. OK, group these 10 words together. You can even add a few words of your own. So, you know, you can go ahead and add something like, uh, you know, flakes or coffee, hot chocolate, marshmallow. So let's say I'm going to add hot chalk. I'm just going to add hot chalk, you know, just for an example to tell you how you can add your own few words. Once you finish your list, click on the file button. OK, and then once you do that, you're going to click on export. And you can also change the file type and in the file type, you know, you have different files. So other file types, you're going to go on CSV because we are going to want to submit it as a CSV file. You can't use it as any other type of file. Trust me, any other type of file will not work. So I'm going to call this Xmas demo and we're going to click on save. So obviously you're going to keep this format and yeah, CSV file. 
then select the csv file in bookball studio okay you're gonna come to bookball studio over here here's choose your csv file and uh wait let me just choose the max word for page 21 you're gonna click on choose csv file here's your csv file over here xmas demo you're gonna go with that and once you do that look at that the csv file is uploaded and now what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on next click on submit and obviously if it says not enough words then what the issue lies is that obviously our xmas demo has 21 words and our max words per pages is 21 so what happens is that one page gets 21 words the rest of the five pages don't get anything so obviously what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to put up a bit of a math over here so i'm gonna go with three words max per page okay or you can even go with four because four or fives are 20 so that could easily fit in so let's go with four we're gonna click on next and then you can click on submit and look at that it submits those words as a jiffy like how cool is that now you'll see that the pages on the left are filled with our word search puzzles so if you click on this look at that how cool and amazing is this stuff you know and look at that four words per page you also might notice that after the fifth page which is over here this is the fifth page okay so after the fifth page the solutions to the puzzles also appear so you know no solution then if you go on the fifth one uh the sixth one i'm sorry you can start seeing the solutions but having the solutions take up the whole page doesn't give a good experience to the customers so here's what i suggest on doing Click on a page with a solution, okay? Then you're gonna click on Control C to copy it. Then go to the end of the book or wherever you wanna put the solutions in, okay? So let's say I'm gonna go to page 90, for example, okay? And uh, you can start building pages with solutions on them. So let's say I'm on page 89 and, uh, you know, you can paste your designs over here and obviously slowly start making them smaller you can combine them all together and you can paste the copied solution using control v then make it smaller and it looks like you could fit about nine solutions onto one page which is pretty amazing now obviously make sure the size is enough for like someone to actually recognize what's going on so after pasting the solution delete the one that we copied earlier and then move to the next solution repeat the process and you get the whole point so again if i were to go up here you know you have uh, all these solutions uh you know this is the one that we copied so you can go ahead and delete that come on the next solution here's your next solution you're gonna come here do the same copy it delete it we're gonna go down to the page that we actually went ahead and saved the previous solution in there we go there it is so you're just gonna come here click on this page click on Control v and look at that it adds another solution how amazing is that and one by one you can start adding solutions on these pages and it's going to be really amazing trust me this way you can have all the solutions nicely organized at the end of the book without taking up too much space it will make the book look much better for the readers keep up the good work you can make a page for solutions just like we did earlier after basing the solutions delete the one you copied before it that's how we create the inside of your book by the way you can customize these pages even more you can change the size and position of the content that you have so let's say you have this content over here you can change the size and position like this so let's say i'm gonna you know change the size i'm gonna bring it here and look at that looks pretty nice so you know this totally depends on you and however you want to change it and uh you know the auto snapping tool of book bolt is already on so it automatically snaps it in the middle for you like this you can also add images to make the word search book more interesting, especially if it's for kids. Adding images can make it even more fun and exciting. So feel free to get creative and make the book uniquely yours. So how do you add images? You're going to go on the file library over here. And once you go in the file library, obviously, let's say you can, you know, add some fun PNGs and uh, stuff, you know, over here just to give you know a fun lookout for the kids if it's for christmas you can you know add a christmas scene in the bottom or you know some gifts in the bottom uh let's say if i were to go on the file library let's go on pixabay or you know on splash that's also a good one and you can you know go ahead and write christmas and once you write christmas what's going to happen over here is you're going to get all these designs so let's say i'm going to add this cane one now once you add this cane design over here you know it looks pretty nice looks pretty good doesn't it so let's go ahead and make it a bit smaller and you can obviously rotate it around you know and once you rotate it around over here 
Look at that. You can also increase its, you know, depth and width. So wait, let me bring this here. Let me choose this. Let's stretch it out. And, you know, you can give it a pretty decent. Obviously, you don't necessarily need to do this, but you can, you know, change it around, you know, add candy canes, add presents and all that. Pretty amazing stuff. So feel free to get creative and make the book really unique. Now that we have, you know, all these things, let's actually go ahead and make our book cover. But before we continue, let's take a moment to appreciate the job that we've done so far. OK, so let's dive back in. Now, you might be wondering what's about the spine of the book. You know, we want the title of our book to be visible on the bookshelf, right? Well, don't worry, we got that covered to work on the spine. We need to go to the edit cover option over here. So you're going to go on the cover and here you can see you have the cover as so. It will show us the cover with the spine area. Don't worry, it's pretty easy. Now, let's add the title Christmas Word Search to the Spine. So before that, you're going to go ahead on Shapes, and we're going to add a shape throughout this whole design. So I'm going to bring this over here. Wait, uh, so bring this down. There we go. You're going to expand its size to the borders, expand its size to the borders. And yeah, looks pretty nice. Now, once you've done all these things from here on out, what's going to happen? is that you're going to go ahead and add a title as I stated Christmas word search. OK, so obviously Christmas is red. OK, Christmas is just a great red color. So we're going to go in text, come in heading. We're going to write Christmas word search. OK, and once you add all these things, let's go ahead and make the font smaller. OK, so we can fit it in and look at that. There is the font and obviously you can change the color of the page as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to make this uh, text color white because that's like a much better text color, in my opinion. And you can also, you know, mess around with the effects, uh, make it blur, mess with the opacity and all that, you know. So look at that. It gives us a nice shadowy look, which is pretty cool. You can also adjust the font size and color to make it look nice as I did. Make sure it's centered on the spine. OK, oh, and one more thing. You might notice that the title isn't right way up on the spine. We need to rotate it a bit so it shows up correctly when the book is on the shelf. OK, so obviously rotate it in the right direction. Mine is, you know, better right now. So to do this, just click on the text box and you'll see a rotation tool in the top that you can use, obviously. Now, our book cover is complete and, you know, ready to wow readers. You can also go ahead and choose to add, you know, different uh, images as well. So again, go in file library. You have different images. Again, this candy cane image is pretty nice, to be honest, when it comes to, you know, Christmas stuff. So I'm going to go ahead, add this year Christmas word search, you know, looks great. You can add the, uh, you know, a brief idea of what people are going to see in, the, um, you know, this area of the text. So you can, you know, also go ahead and paste a crossword puzzle so people can get an idea of what they are up against. So, you know, you're going to come here and uh, I'm going to choose one of the word search. There we go. And once you choose one of the word search, I'm going to come here on the main page. I'm going to paste it and look at that. So it looks pretty nice. And, uh, you know, this word search over here, you can, you know, get this basically gives people an idea what they're going to get. And, uh, you know, it gives them a unique aspect on things. So, yeah, basically looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Now, our book cover is, you know, complete and ready to wow readers. You know, remember, remember, you can always get creative and experiment with different designs and images and making it eye catching and unique will make your book stand out on Amazon. So before we finish, let's go ahead and save our project again to make sure we don't lose any changes. And once you save your project, uh, you're going to go ahead and click on download and uh, you're going to go on download current project RGB ebooks. OK. Bookbolt will basically create a zip file for you, which you can open to check that everything looks as expected. And once everything is downloaded, congratulations, you've successfully designed your word search book cover with Bookbolt Studio. You're now one step closer to publishing your awesome activity book on Amazon. So if you enjoyed this and want to get started yourself, I leave a link to Bookbolt in the description down below. The code is creator 20. You will be able to get 20% off on any plan for the lifetime of you using it. Also, do not forget to like this video and check out my channel for more Bookbolt and KDP tutorials.